All right, this is a snake preparation vlog. So here we have our beautiful Marceline. She is a ball python. She's about eight months old and she's already eating adult frozen mice. She's been mostly brought up on live mice. So that might be a bit of a transition, but it's all the same stuff. Frozen mice, it's all the same stuff. So she should probably be fine. I'm changing this wattage. Right now I have a 60 watt lamp. I'm changing it to a 100 watt lamp because she needs a warmer environment than my corn snake conduit did. Uh, Alright, so here we go. We've got a 100 watt daylight right here. Here's the uh, size comparison. This is 60 watt, this is 100 watts. We've got contaminated bedding. We had a dead snake in here for a few hours. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe down this area. I'm going to clean off this guy. I've got my little pooper scooper specifically for this. Um, my bedding. So this is number one preferred snake bedding. This is aspen something or other. Um, this is like aspen bark. Also got a bag of this. Some extra aspen bark. I'm going to scoop this out. I'm going to throw it in the garbage. And I'm also going to get some wipes. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this little girl, she's a, she's chonky. Hopefully this chonky girl can entertain you guys. All right, we've got some Clorox right here. And, um, let's see, I had a dog bag. Ah, here we go. I'm going to use this for some of it, I think. So I made the executive decision to wash the green substrate inside, but it is still wet and I have a very restless little girl who wants to get out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up. Uh, I put some paper towels at the bottom. Don't know if I should do that. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to put some substrate on top now. We've got the aspen. Gonna mix that around a little bit. This aspen is a bit old. Um, it's a few months old. This is the original aspen I got with conduit when I bought her at that reptile exposition. Alright, this smells... What it smells like? It smells like Sprite. Yeah, that's all I have to say. It smells like Sprite or 7-Up. Does Sprite and 7-Up smell the same? It smells like how it tastes. Kind of this, this uh, citrusy, carbonated taste. Okay, we've got this hide, and we've got this hide. Now this, I don't know, this is a bit small. I can see her barely fitting in it, and, um, I don't know. I don't think we have a lot of space. We got this, and, um, her water. I scrubbed this a bit because we had a uh, sick dying snake in it previously, so I washed it. And uh, yeah, so now she's got some space to move around. I'm definitely going to get a bigger tank in the next couple of weeks off eBay or something. But for now, let's see how she likes it. Hey, Marceline. Hey. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's like a muscle. She's so strong. I'm gonna put her inside like this and I'm um, gonna put uh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right next to my original baby my original baby came in this I'm gonna put her here I'm gonna put this on top she is bigger and she is fatter she is stronger and smarter and freer okay, I think that's everything now let's get the light on oh wait let's put this in Okay, moment of truth. So, first of all, please admire my stickers. They were imported from Canada from my Canadian foster mother. This is our thermometer. Here we have the, the thermohygrometer right here. It's nice and humid. And this better go up. I don't know if it's broken. 
I don't know if a uh, conduit broke it and I need a new one because that would that would kind of suck. But uh, we'll see if it gets any hotter right now. Marceline is cold and scared. I don't really know what to tell you, girl. I cannot believe it. Oh, read off. The judge declares that my niece should be married from this house, which I hope you will approve. Oh, poor Kitty will be disappointed not to be a bridesmaid. So back your answer as soon as you can and be sure to write explicitly as to the financial settlement yours, etc. How can it be possible that your marriage... <laughs> the 